So when I woke up today, my plan was to make a solar finder, which, as it was snowing, was kind of ironic. But fortunately, I did actually have to make the solar finder first. So I ended up going on to Thingiverse and finding a solar finder made by Attila Danko. And ended up slicing this in Cura and using the Mingda D2 with white PLA filament from Greetech Printing. Okay, so here is the uh, thing. I just pulled it off two seconds ago. Um, it came off pretty easy. The bed was cool. You know, it's a flexible mount. So this actually worked pretty well. Um, there are some supports on here, um, just to hold in that little bit of a space. But I'm going to take the supports off and uh, I'm gonna go and put it on the telescope and uh, do some solar observing. So now we're outside and I have my little, I'm gonna call it the Telrad solar scope. Um, and it's got a little hole light there. And if I find the sun, it leaves a little hole on there. So I'm gonna put it into my Telrad adapter here and tighten it down. There we go. And now it's set up so that I can actually image. Now, quick note, you'll note that I do have a solar filter on the front of my telescope. This is critically important. And I've also removed all other optics that could potentially be pointing at the sun because I definitely do not want to get to a situation where I'm pointing any optics at the sun. That's bad. So now, just loosen this up, find the sun. I don't even have to look up at the sun now. I just have to find the, the dot on the back of the setting and once I get close to it being center I'm gonna turn on my camera or if you're looking through it visually you can look through the eyepiece and basically find the Sun all right so now I have the Sun centered and I can see what the little dot is on my screen so the reason I printed this in white is because it allows me to see through it's it's enough transparent but now I can take a marker and Actually, I'm going to put it on the back because the back works a little bit better. And now I know that if I move the telescope off, I can now move it right back to that position and the sun is there, which is useful if you're switching out lenses or eyepieces or something like that, or if you don't have a tracking mount or you're not really polar aligned, um, which is the case in the daytime um, where, you know, I can't pull a line off of uh, the celestial poles. So even if I kind of aimed it properly, I know it's going to shift off. So this way I can always come back to where the sun actually is by simply looking and correcting for it. And this actually works pretty well. Now what I've done is I've actually put a bunch of little dots around the sun. This I did for two reasons. Number one is it allows me to put the sun right in the center of the dot. I have a, a better dot in the back, but also it allows me to have little dots where if I find that as I do this, there's this preferential like location, I can make those dots a little bit better and then it corrects it. Because every time I put this in and out, it can shift a little bit um, simply because it's 3D printed. Um, there's always a chance for a little bit of error or a little bit more compression on the plastic. So it's good to keep there. Another option is to use like cue card stock or something like this and cut a square out and glue it to the back. And the reason why I do that is that over time, if you find it's, it's moving around or something like this, you can, you know, cut a new piece of paper or do this. You don't have to necessarily 3D print a whole new one after you've marked it up with Sharpie. So it actually ends up working quite well. And I'm gonna now take some photos of the sun uh, to share with you and uh, yeah. And that is how you make this. If you're interested in the STL, I will leave a link to the one I found. There was a couple of them online. I simply picked one I thought looked good. And uh, yeah, there's no point in inventing, reinventing the wheel if you don't have a new way of reinventing that wheel. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more astronomy and 3D printing and 3D printing for astronomy and sort of whatever else I get up to on this channel. Um, a lot of fun and I do enjoy some feedback. Feel free to leave some comments below if you have another 3D print concept for astronomy that you want me to give a shout for or if you have any ideas or suggestions. And as always, the sky's on fire because that's a giant ball of fire. Yes, the sun is a giant ball of fire. I don't know why I get so excited about that, but yeah. So let's see if we can get some images.